Hey guys, Jeff from Toro here. I'm here in our new Diamond Weave Gi, and today, uh, these just came in yesterday, and today we're going to show you how to collar choke somebody from the closed guard with it. This is one of my favorite techniques, very high percentage, very low risk, allows us to stay safe, to stay safe while attacking our opponent. I'm here with JC, and we're going to show you how to do this from the closed guard. I always like to have the closed guard if I can. It enables me a lot more control over my partner. I can pull him with my legs, I can keep his posture broken, I can stop him from attacking me more so than if my guard is open. So for, what I like to do is stay safe while making sure only I can initiate offense against my opponent. And that's why I like the collar choke from the closed guard. First, I need to open his lapels, start playing with his lapels. The grip is the most important part of this technique and setting it is crucial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip his gi open and then push it back. That creates a space for me to stick my hand in. I'm reaching all the way back for the tag. So I open, push back, reach in. But I'm not gonna close my hand just yet. Notice how my thumb stays a little open. I'm gonna use my left hand to feed the gi and take the slack out of it until I'm ready uh, to close my hand. From here, I have a viable threat. Notice the blade of my wrist is against his carotid artery, so already we're setting up our choke. The great thing about this, too, is I can control his posture, I can set up my other techniques if the choke doesn't work. But today, we're gonna set up our, our, our palm up, palm down collar choke. The traditional way to do this is palm up, palm up, which is a more powerful way, but I find it's a little harder to get, at least for me. So to catch my palm up, palm down collar choke, I'm going to stick my hand against my belly, and I'm going to move my body this way. This gives me the correct angle to grab for the top of his gi. All I'm going to do is grab for the scruff of his gi where it bunches up by his shoulder. From here, this sets the choke. Now, all I'm going to do is pull my elbows into my chest and try to sink them to the mat. And JC taps. Now, this is a blood choke, and so what's kind of great about it is it might, it might happen slowly at first if you don't have it deep enough, but just hold this choke. And eventually, he's gonna tap. So one more time. I open the gi, I push, I get my grip. I pull and I feed the choke until it's as, as much slack as the gi is taken out as possible, only then do I close my hand. Blade of my wrist is against his karate. Palm comes to my belly, move my body, this prevents him from trying to defend the choke, and I grab at the scruff of the gi. From here, the, both of my blades and my wrists are against his carotids, I pull as if my elbows are going to the mat, and he taps. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Jeff from Toro. Uh, check out our new gi. It just came out yesterday.